What is synchronous rectification and asynchronous rectification? When designing a buck DC-DC circuit, we often hear about synchronous rectification and asynchronous rectification. So what is synchronous rectification? What is asynchronous rectification? Looking at the topology of these two circuits, asynchronous rectification has an external freewheeling diode, while synchronous rectification has two MOSFETs inside the chip. When the upper MOSFET of synchronous rectification is cut off and the lower MOSFET is turned on, the current flows from the inductor to the lower MOSFET. When the upper MOSFET of asynchronous rectification is cut off, the current flows from the inductor to the diode. When the output current is relatively large, the efficiency of synchronous rectification is higher than that of asynchronous rectification. Generally, synchronous rectification can reach 95% efficiency when the load is 1A, while asynchronous rectification can only reach about 80%. This is mainly because the voltage drop of the external diode of asynchronous rectification is generally around 0.3 volts, while when the lower MOSFET of synchronous rectification is turned on, its resistance is only a few tens of milliohms. When the upper MOSFET is turned off, the loss of the diode in asynchronous rectification is greater than that of the MOSFET in synchronous rectification, resulting in a relatively low efficiency of asynchronous rectification. Now most buck DC-DC circuits use synchronous rectification chips. At light loads, the efficiency of asynchronous rectification is higher than that of synchronous rectification. At light loads, after the current stored in the inductor of a synchronous rectification circuit drops to zero, since the lower MOSFET has not been turned off, part of the current from the output capacitor will charge the inductor at this time, resulting in a negative inductor current until the next conduction period of the upper MOSFET arrives. However, since diodes are unidirectional conductors in asynchronous rectification, after the current stored in the inductor drops to zero, there will be no current flowing through the inductor and diode. At light loads, there will be ringing on switching signals for inductors in asynchronous rectification as shown in this photo, which will make output voltage ripple and noise worse. However, since inductor current is continuous and stable for synchronous rectification, ripple noise will be better than that for asynchronous rectification at light loads. Some synchronous rectification DC-DC chips can actually set their light load operating modes and can be set to PFM mode and FCCM mode. PFM mode is similar to state of asynchronous rectification at light loads. After chip detects that current in inductor has dropped to zero, lower MOSFET will turn off and wait for next conduction period for upper MOSFET to arrive. PFM mode is also known as light load high efficiency mode. PCM mode is similar to state of synchronous rectification at light loads. After current in inductor drops to zero, lower MOSFET remains turned on until conduction period for upper MOSFET arrives.